Good afternoon, everybody. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good, as usual. Good afternoon to you, Sister Sunshine. Sorry it took me so long to reply to your video. Um, to be honest, there's no real reason for it other than I just didn't feel like recording a video, and I'm bored as shit right now. So, why not reply to your video, right? There's a little honesty for you. Um, th there's really only two things that I, that I want to say to you. One is that, well, first of all, I'll take that back. There, there's three things that I want to say to you. Basically, we're in agreement that uh, Jesus Freak is wrong about why titty bars don't have any windows. He says it's to keep the filth on the inside that people don't want to see naked ladies dancing. Now, now we we both know why the windows are there. Basically, you're not going to get a free show, right? It is, after all, a business. And, and you also said in your video that women who are doing this dancing are objectified. Now, I, I, I take issue with this. Um... You know, because I, I just, I, I can't see a woman as a thing, as an object, no matter what she's doing. I, I just can't look at a human being and, 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 and like, consider her a thing, a, a, an object, a toy, you know. I, I, and I don't understand the mentality of anyone that does see a, a stripper as an object. So when you say, when, when people throw this word around, they're objectified. I, I'm just not convinced. You know, I, I don't know too many fucking men, to be honest, to actually feel that way about women or any human being at all, in spite of what they're doing with their body. So, I don't know. It just never made any fucking sense to me, that, that whole objectification bullshit. I, I just, I don't see it. Um... As I said in my last video, I've been to any number of titty bars, and I still don't see a woman as a fucking ironing board, you know? <laughs> Sorry, it's it hasn't had that impact on me, right? Now, the, the other thing that you were talking about is uh, the marriage. That everybody should get married. And, of course, men should find the female form attractive and um, hopefully settle down and, and get married. And you're saying that, that attraction, that, that instinct, that desire should be for your spouse only and for nothing else. In your video, you go on and on about how, well, this whole Christians don't like sex or they, they view sex as a dirty thing. Is just a myth. That's not true. It is, in a sense. I know that you said that Catholics say that sex should only be for procreation, um, which is complete bullshit. I mean, that might be what they're telling you, um, but but something tells me that uh, a lot, there's a lot of Catholic couples out there fucking just to be fucking. You know, they're not trying to have children. So it, it's all a bunch of. It, it's hard to be religious. Without being a hypocrite sometimes. So I'll, I'll give them that much credit. And, and then you go on talking about how, well, in Christianity, sex is considered a beautiful thing. But only if it's between a husband and a wife, a man and a woman, who were married in a church before this deity of yours. So basically what you're doing, sister, is you're putting just a different kind of limitation on sex. You're saying that... Sex out of marriage is dirty in the eyes of this God, right? Therefore, you know, it's a sin. So th there's, there's Christianity's way of looking at sex as a negative thing. If, if it doesn't fit the Christian standard of what sex should be, then, it, then it's disgusting, right? And then it's dirty. So it's not a myth, Sister Sunshine. Uh, you people really do. You people really put, uh, I don't know, too high a standard on, on this 
very basic primal fucking function, uh, you know, sexuality. And it, I think it really freaks out religious people in, in different ways for different religions. But this thing about marriage, this is, this is the last thing I really want to talk about. Um, this whole thing about encouraging people to get married just for the sake of making God happy. I, I got to tell you, the things aren't going God's way. You know, <laughs> I mean, they're just not. And if God really wants happy couples and happy families, the last thing I really think he ought to be doing is instructing people that they have to be married to have any sort of legitimate relationship. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for monogamy. I don't have a problem with monogamous relationships. I mean, I think they can be a, a very, very wonderful fucking thing. But only if you're actually happy in that relationship. You know, actually being in love with, with another person, finding someone that you want to spend your fucking life with, that is a very rare thing. And, and, and Christians, you know, would almost have to think that this happens every ten minutes in this country. You know, somebody find me a, a statistic of how often a heterosexual couple gets married in just America, right? I'm sorry, but not that many people love each other enough, genuinely, to spend the rest of their fucking lives together. They're getting married, a lot of them, probably because they think they should, for whatever fucking reason. Monogamy is popular, and marriage is sort of a way to... Uh, make your monogamous relationship official. So I guess you feel less insecure about your desires towards other people while you're in a relationship. And that's the thing, Sister Sunshine. Uh, God, you're, you're God. You're goofy little God, man. Fucked up. Because married men still want to fuck other women. This is why, uh, and married women still want to fuck other men. That's that's a fact of life. You know, you'd think if marriage were so sacred, then the moment you said, I do, you'd only have eyes for your wife. You know, biologically, this biological miracle would take place right after the wedding ceremony where you were only turned on by your wife, but, but our bodies aren't really built for monogamy when it comes to that particular desire, are they? No. Um... What I'm trying to say is that a monogamous relationship can be a good thing. But it's a rare thing to find, like, one person you really want to fucking be with forever. You know, for as long as you're going to fucking be alive. It's rare, and it should be treated as a rare thing. Um, I, I don't think, I think way too many people are getting married simply because they think they should. Especially Christians. In this country, you know, because, well, they think that's going to make God-man happy. I guess that's just one more way that your magic God-man fucked up his own plan, right? People get married and they still want to fuck other people. Go figure. World's just not going God's way, is it? A anyway, all, basically all I'm saying is that the, the silly little Christian restriction of marriage, it doesn't mean much to me because nobody should ever enter a fucking relationship because they think they should, you know. It's a really, it's a stupid idea, actually, Sister Sunshine, and it's one more sort of religious idea that should be flushed down the fucking toilet, in my opinion. Um, so that, that's about all, you know. It, it, anymore nowadays, it's getting so fucking difficult for me to have these conversations because I don't really think you understand exactly what I think about these silly ancient little rituals, these silly little superstitions about you have to be married in this church before you're allowed to fuck each other legally or some shit, you know? I, I don't know. It, it's very silly to me, Sister Sunshine. The, the point is... And, Sex isn't something that should be restricted, you know, in, in 
in that particular way. I, I just don't see it. But anyway, I guess that's all. Uh, thanks for the video reply. Peace.